Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul. If Sagittarius is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your reading. Please hit the like button, leave a comment. Consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. It's totally free, doesn't cost you anything. If there is anything you would like me to pray over, or meditate upon, or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Sagittarius, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And here we've got... Uh, a two of wands, fire energy, yeah. Um, I'm feeling almost that there is, uh, there's some force that's pushing you in a different direction. I feel like you're going straight ahead, but there's something compelling you to change course, yeah. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, I feel like you are, you are the captain of this ship, um, but it seems like we're being led toward a different, we're being kind of pushed toward a different harbor here. We've got a four of wands, six of pentacles is very good, the star, okay. And the empress, very nice energy. Five of, hmm, yeah. Something is, something is, is turning us aside. It's kind of like you're on, you're, you're sailing on a ship, right? You're, you're navigating by your starlight, by your sense of purpose, your destiny, right? But something now has gone on and there's, there's something that's pushing you on a different course. It's almost like, uh, you know, in a movie where everybody's, they're kind of sailing in a particular direction, they get a distress call or something and they have to go, they have to go somewhere else to investigate, right? I think that's the plot of the alien movie. Uh, the seven, yeah, see, seven of swords, princess of wands, knight of wands, oh, and an ace. An ace of pentacles. I kind of feel like you are on a particular quest, going in a particular direction. You've got your goals. you got this beautiful life that you're building, right? But now you're being kind of, you're being directed in a different energy. It's almost like you're on your way to get to your best life. There's some buried treasure over there. You might as well pick it up on your way, right? I kind of feel like we're, we're taking a little detour to go pick, pick up a, a pot of gold, right? To go pick up a, a buried treasure and then continue on our, our merry way to where we've, we were going. So I think that something is kind of, um, something abrupt has changed in your life or is changing. There's some news, some impact, some, um, some event, something develops or transpires, right? That seems like it interrupts seems like it's interrupting seven of swords feels like it, it's interrupting your path but really it's a blessing really it's taking you over here to this pot of gold this buried treasure pick it up put it on the boat and then get back to your sailing get back to where you're going right um i don't know exactly what this could be let's select the mystery card bonus card confirmation card this is one random card from the Smith Waite Tarot. We're just going to set it down there. We'll put Alien Simon Mork Ripley right there on top. We're not going to look at that card until the very end. Um, but it will tie everything together and it will give us the confirmation that we need at the end of the reading. If at any point during the reading you feel like you know what that card is, put your prediction down in the comments. Yeah, let's do it together. Let's make it an interactive group exercise of intuition. All right. Let's take a look around the room again. We've got major, major arcana. These two major arcana. This is nice. We've got fire, 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 fire. No water, a little bit of air, and the rest is earth. Right? The rest is earth. So what I'm seeing, first of all, is that um, you're on, you're following your destiny. You're following your bliss. You are being guided by your star yeah something happens something changes now the way it is with a six to a five of pentacles it's almost as if something breaks it's almost like um 
did you break your glasses or something recently? Spirit's showing me like some broken, you know, eyeglasses. And it's almost as if something that feels like kind of a disaster or at least an inconvenience, right? It feels like it's just a frustration. Um, turns out to be a blessing in disguise. Like you break your glasses, but now you actually can see something that you wouldn't have seen before. Um, or then you have to go to wherever and get new glasses, and you, I don't know, run into somebody you haven't seen in a while, you find some money on the ground, or you know what I mean. Um, because of this unwanted event, because of this frustrating, you know, event in your life, kind of a random you know, you broke your glasses or you got a flat tire or something. Um, that creates a chain of events where you get some sort of, uh, some sort of jackpot, some sort of pot of gold here. And I don't know exactly how this is going to happen for you. Um, I'm getting something with the eyeglasses though. So I don't know if that is, um, I don't know. I don't know what this is exactly yet. Um, but I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, this is the harmony with which you are, have been sailing, right? You have been, um, everything's been in sync, right? Everybody on your boat is kind of rowing in the right direction, you know? Um, everything's been going pretty smoothly. It's like, this is the card that says everything's coming together nicely. Everything's in this great alignment, and then suddenly, whack. Two of Wands, something changes. Maybe, maybe it's a person. Maybe somebody um, drops out. Maybe they quit. Maybe they say, "I don't want this anymore." Right? Maybe that's it. Maybe somebody quit. Right? At, at your job or something. It's a blessing in disguise. Somehow, it's leading you to more riches and more rewards than had they stayed. I mean, this is pretty good, a six of pentacles, and I can see why we wouldn't want anything to happen to this. So we, we don't want any unexpected changes. We don't want any dang surprises, right? But there, there it is. And what's interesting to me is the five of pentacles in the future. This surprise, this unexpected change of events, unexpected inconvenience or frustration, which is the five of, you know, of pentacles, puts things into a, an off-centered position. This harmony is gone. Now there's some something we've got to deal with, right? Maybe it's like an unexpected bill, an unexpected expense. You broke your glasses. Somebody quit. We lost one piece of our, of our harmony here. But look, we get that we get that ace of pentacles at the end, add that to the five, we get our six back. But this is a pretty, this is a pretty potent ace of pentacles. This I think is even better than the way it was before. It's kind of like you, you know, you, I don't know, for instance, uh, your car gets damaged. It's terrible, it's frustrating. But what if it gets repaired and it was nicer than it was before. It runs better than it ever has. Or you get to get a new car, right? Something along those lines where it's a, it's a, um, an unwanted event, but it leads to something that you wouldn't have received otherwise. And I think it really is a blessing. And I think it's kind of, well, it has to do partly with this Empress energy, but it's the way that you're trying to be accepting of these inconveniences. Things aren't going to be smooth sailing all the time. Um, if we look at life as um, kind of, I don't know, perfect the way it is, right? We get these inconveniences and we don't shake our fists at the sky and get angry, right? We, we, we feel frustrated, sure, but we realize that this is just part of life and we've got to just deal with it and move on. I think that kind of an attitude really is attracting even more love and abundance and prosperity to you. It really is in the attitude, you know? We have a poor attitude, then I think life becomes a, a, a poor companion. But if we're optimistic, if we, if we say, I don't understand why this has to happen now, I don't like it, 
but I accept that this is part of my path right now. I got to deal with my broken glasses. I've got to deal with the flat tire. I got to deal with somebody who quit or, or whatever the case is. Um, it's all part of the way things are, all right? And we can't change that. You can't unbreak your glasses. You got to just go get them fixed or get a new pair. We can't unpop the tire, you know? We've got to just deal with it. It does no good to express all of this frustration. Um, I think this is also the kind of, um, sometimes we, we get into this harmony of that six of pentacles and we think, we think it is smooth sailing. You know, we think our trip from here to our promised land, our land of milk and honey, is going to be smooth sailing, uneventful, right? It's just going to be a really nice trip. We're going to get there and it's going to be fabulous. Well, it is. It is going to be fabulous, but there will be bumps in the road. This is one of those bumps in the road. Something, it's, you're sailing in your ship, you hit a log or something, right? Or you kind of scrape the bottom, maybe it's a little too shallow. And I wonder if that is something, because there's no cups here. We see a lack of water here as it is. Maybe it is getting a little too, a little too dry. Uh, we're trying to sail, but there's really no water here, right? Interesting that there's, interesting that there's no water. Um, there's an H name attached to you as well. I don't know who's the H person in your life. Um, I'm feeling a younger female energy that's very, very close to you. I don't know if it's a daughter or a niece or a, you know, a granddaughter or something like that, a younger sibling. Maybe that's the H name. Um, but I feel like they're, maybe it's something that happened with them, something unexpected. Um, with a kid or something. Maybe we're on this path and suddenly we realize, well, the kid needs braces or, you know, something that's just kind of a, an unexpected expense. Yeah. That's kind of what I feel like. I don't know that it's financial, but we do have this earth energy here. It tells me maybe it is. Okay. The four of wands underneath everything. This is something you're going to fix. It's not that, it's not a huge crisis. It's something like the glasses or a flat tire or, um, it, it's, not, it's not something that we wish for, but it's something that you will definitely overcome. It's something that happens in the natural course of life, right? Um, it, feels, it feels like something is breaking to me, um, but it's fixed. It's easily fixed. It might set you back a little bit. It might frustrate you. It might feel like it's kind of interrupted your, your smooth sailing, but we're going to get right back to it, okay? And this is something that is actually going to bring you more rewards. It's going to bring you something more than what you've lost, yeah? And I don't know how that really is going to happen. But you're going to have to wait and see on that. It's a loss that is going to be restored with a little extra. You know what I mean? It's kind of like if, if your car does get damaged, Insurance is going to fix the car, but then also you're going to get the extra money on top of that, you know, something along those lines. It's a challenging situation that really is an opportunity for you to, to gain a little bit more, right? Not a lot more, I don't think, but enough to really, um, enough to make you whole and then some. Does that make sense to you? It's interesting energy. The four of wands, though, is the situation being completed. It is things being repaired or healing or coming back together and, and being made whole, right? It's not a it's not gonna interrupt your path for a long time. It feels like it's just just for today. You break your glasses, you gotta go. Maybe you break your glasses and you go to the store to get new ones and you're the ten thousandth shopper or whatever and you get free groceries. Something like that, right? Um I don't know if they still do that at the grocery store, do they? Anyway, um, let's go to the path of the serpent. And as we do this, I'd like to ask for your subscription. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Totally free. It doesn't cost you anything. And it really does help out the channel, and I really do appreciate that. Uh, the Seven of Swords is our frustration dealing with this thing. This feels like it is, in some ways, it's kind of like, maybe the universe is just telling me that I'm on the wrong path. No. 
No, that's not it. This, if anything, this is a test. Yeah, you got that central sword there. Stay on course. Sometimes we have to deal with these other responsibilities. You break your glasses, you get a flat tire, you gotta just, you gotta do it and keep going, right? You get a hole in one of your sails, slows you down, repair the hole, you're back up full speed again. Maybe you just get new sails, right? So this is, it, it's kind of, it's what I want to call a minor inconvenience. I know it doesn't feel that way, right? And in the moment, it's going to be frustrating and you're gonna to wanna to just like beat the car with the tire iron, you know, because the tire went flat. Stay calm, fix the tire, and um, keep going. It's going to be more beneficial for you in the long run than if this didn't happen, okay? So it's, it's one of those weird things that's an, it's a, it's an obstacle, it's an inconvenience, it's a challenge, but it's also an opportunity. Yeah, and I don't know exactly how that plays out. Hopefully you'll come back and let me know because this is really, this is interesting to me. Uh, we've got the fire energy that comes next. I do feel like there is a younger female energy in your life. Um, and, and maybe the, maybe there's some sort of expense or some sort of, um, some sort of issue that you have to kind of take care of with them. And that kind of sets you back a little bit or, or takes you off of your goal for a day or whatever, right? It's not a huge, uh, it's not a huge thing. It's an inconvenience for sure. Uh, but what we don't want is the Knight of Wands. We don't want to overreact. Right? We don't want to get carried away with this. Uh, this is someone, I think, who takes a minor inconvenience and somehow it's a crisis. Somehow it's the worst thing that could ever happen. And it's anger and it's rage and, it's fr and we're beating the car with a tire iron, right? There's my cat. She's kind of like that sometimes. Um, we don't want this energy. This is in the position of the obstacle here, right, of what we don't want. We don't want to make more of this than it actually is and we want to be calm enough that we can see that opportunity. It could be you stop to repair the flat tire, but you find you find something in the in the on the ground or something, right? You find something that is just you wouldn't have found it otherwise, right? If you're forced to make a pit stop, look around the pit and see what's there that is meant for you. It's there's a reason why this is happening to you, okay? And it, it may just be something with it. I don't know. There's something with your glasses. I don't know if that's what's happening or if maybe that was already a couple days ago or something. There's something with your eyeglasses. Um, we don't want to overreact. In our rage, and our frustration, which feels very exaggerated, we're not going to see these opportunities that are around us. We're not going to be able to turn this challenge into an opportunity, right? Uh, what's the joke with the goat for you? What is, what is, is that something with the, this younger female energy or, um, is, do you have goats or is there just something silly about a goat? Uh, spirits telling me, ask about, ask about the goat. Um, maybe you have, um, maybe you raise goats or there's something about when you were at a, at a petting zoo or something, looking at goats or I don't know, something like that. Uh, I feel it's it, it's kind of a humorous encounter, though, with a goat. Um, maybe you got chased by a goat. That could be it. Uh, anyway, um, this kind of exaggerated thing. That's what we don't want. The, the Ace of Pentacles is next, and this really is that opportunity. This is like you find a shiny gold nugget on the ground. You're, you stop to get the car fixed, and you find a pot of gold. You find a sack of money, right? And, uh, and it's yours. And... and um, you know, this could be any of those types of things, all right? The, um, the Ace of Pentacles is not always a financial thing, but to me, this really feels like it's something that's going to restore the harmony. So if you had to pay some money for something, this is somehow, maybe in an unrelated way, you're getting some money coming in. So it's you, you spend money on these repairs, but then somebody sends you a gift of money, or you hit the lottery and you get some money back a little bit more than what you spent, right? So to me, especially with that Empress energy, it's kind of trust the universe to take care of you. 
even if these if this is a challenging situation and you have to pay some money or something trust that the universe is going to make you whole again right and i think sooner rather than later i think this is really kind of one day and then the next day kind of feeling let's look at the mystery card though yeah let's see what let's see what's going on over here this might give us a clue as to what the challenge is or um you know what we might be expecting from this or you know we'll see I, I kind of want this to be some water energy because i want this to be actually not a um not an occasion for anger or frustration maybe this as is an occasion for joy right this is going to be a reason to celebrate rather than a reason to lament yeah so i'm thinking some water energy here if you have a prediction put it down in the comments okay also who in in your life has the the breathing thing Did somebody use um one of those breathing machines what are they called the um uh cpap machines is that something that do you have one or does somebody close to you have one of those um Sometimes these random details come in as a way of validating the energy and, and confirming some of the energy. It's meant to be a, a specific message or synchronicity for some of you out there. If it's not yours, don't worry about it, right? Leave it for the next person. Um, but somebody's, um, somebody's dealing with some breathing issues right now, yeah? Okay, let's look at this. Let's see, I'm still thinking water energy. Oh, a judgment card. Yeah. Uh, rebirth, reawakening, baptism by fire, right? Uh, this is a, another card that says this is kind of a, a test. This is a, well, a trial by fire, right? This is one of those uh, situations. If you handle it right, if you try to keep your cool about you, it's going to pay off. It's going to be worth it. There is a reason why you are going through this. Um, and it might be really to, like spirit maybe is trying to frustrate you, trying to get you mad right to see how much like kind of self-control you have or to see like if you can find the blessing in this situation yeah so this is kind of this is kind of a wake-up call i think right and maybe it's a wake-up call to some of your general energy especially when we look at your general energy up here um that maybe you are prone to getting a little bit more angry at things than you need to Thinking, it, thinking that things are more of a crisis than they are. Maybe. All right, maybe. We're going to do an extended reading, though, as well. If you want to stick around, click on the link that should be up here. Otherwise, there is one down in the video description. All right. New readings for Sagittarius every Wednesday and Sunday, unless we do some bonus readings here and there for you. I'm here every day, so you can just come on back, see me again tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Totally free. Doesn't cost you anything at all. And leave a comment for me. Let me know where in the world you're watching from. Yeah. I want you to know that you're the most important part of Dove and Serpent Tarot. I thank you and I love you. And we're all in this together.